All right, so this is the new and improved way that we are making landscape fabrics. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Ray Tyler in Memphis, Tennessee, who took my idea of doing this and just improved it. So I want to share it with you guys. So essentially what we were doing before is we had a board. This is just a piece of plywood, it's half inch plywood. Got a couple two by fours on the end of it to help lift it up. You could put handles, whatever you want. And the way we did it before is we just measured our six inch centers on this board. So we're using this one for Salanova lettuce. And um, so we just had like quarter inch holes in there and we would go and paint, use a white spray paint can to make holes and then burn them with the fabric. And then when I showed this to Ray, he liked the idea and then he skipped a step and it works. So that's what I'm gonna share with you guys. So essentially what we've done is we've just made the holes bigger using one of these guys. It's a two inch, whatever you call it, thing that cuts pieces of wood. And um, so we drilled the holes in like this. And then we're just using a, a simple, I guess these like a mini tiger torch kind of thing. You can get these at most hardware stores. They have a camp stove butane on them, camping gas it's called. And I'm just gonna strap on the head cam and let my actions explain the rest. One thing I'll point out is uh, Mark just modified this here and he put a couple notches on the board to line up with the lines on the fabric and so I've, I'm doing three at a time so I've laid down three fabrics these are 50 foot fabrics and I've cut them and as I move it I'll line up the last two holes here with the 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 ones on the edge and then I'll make sure I line these two lines up with this to keep it straight So that's pretty much it. We did about three at a time and that's just the number we've decided to go with. You probably could do more if you wanted to. But uh, we found that this way is about twice as fast as when we were painting them on and then doing it by hand because we don't have to be as careful with the torch. So um, if you guys found that useful, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with friends and if you want to see more stuff like this, please check out my online course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com and my book at theurbanfarmer.co. All right. <laughs>